Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter with this month's edition of Entrepreneurs in Action. Many of the technology companies we feature in this video series and commanding attention around Chicago are brand new, with an age still measured in months, operating with cash from venture capital firms. But nestled into a busy retail storefront here in Bucktown is Wiseant, in business for seven years, bootstrapping and aiming to change the tutoring business. Yeah. Or we have to find out what we need to know to find the solution. For students and parents, finding the right tutor can be a challenge. We spent a lot of time and money, and sometimes we made a connection that would work for a few weeks, and sometimes we wasted a lot of time and money. <laughs> and for tutors, finding business can be time-consuming and risky. I had to put myself out there in ways that I'm not always very comfortable with. You know, uh, like putting out my um, name and with my phone number. Those concerns inspired Andrew Gant to start the online tutoring marketplace Wiseant in 2005 with his Princeton University pal Michael Wysoon. Gant walked away from a Wall Street job and started tutoring in his hometown of Scarborough, Maine, while he plotted his next career move. My instinct was to promote myself as a tutor online, and it didn't take long to realize that there wasn't a very good outlet for that. I talked it out with as many people as I could, including parents and students, and everyone had issues with the process of finding a tutor. And the tutors, obviously, like I, like I was having issues, also had issues. Gant moved to Washington, D.C. to join Wysoon, who worked at a software company. The name Wysant is a mix of their two last names and a play on Wise. Initially, the pair went old school, distributing flyers on windshields at nearby colleges to recruit tutors to the site. Most of them are not trying to run their own freelance tutoring businesses. They want to tutor. They want to be educators. Um, they don't want to be marketing um, and doing the, the kind of the back-end administrative piece of it. So even that tutor who's just an incredible tutor and has got an incredible network, they always need new business. So that's the first thing we provide them is a constant stream of really good leads and opportunities. Tutors sign up for free on WiseAnt, which takes a cut of their hourly rate, initially 40 percent. The more hours a tutor works with WiseAnt, the more they make, up to 80 percent of the hourly rate charged. Searching tutors on the site is free, and students are charged for tutoring after sessions are done. There is a discount for prepaying for sessions, and Wyzant handles all of the billing. <laughs> Gant and Wyzoon moved their business to Chicago in 2008 and now have more than 30 employees, plus their dogs who are a regular presence here. What is absent? Outside funding, besides $10,000 in initial funds from friends and family. Gant would not disclose revenue, but says it has doubled year over year. We were fortunate to have kind of a revenue model from day one, and we were able to put all that money back into the business. So fast forward into today, we're really happy that we made that decision, um, having the ability to um, really dictate everything we do within the company, not having to, to answer to anyone. Outside capital could be needed if Wiseant wants to make a bigger name for itself in a crowded U.S. tutoring market. A recent report by Ibis World estimates it's a $9 billion industry with giants like Kumon, Kaplan, Sylvan, and Huntington. There may come a time where you need to do something very big, um, make a big acquisition or um, who knows, go into a, a different line of business. We don't have any of those immediate plans, um, so it's hard to rule it out in the future. Um, but we're real, real happy that um, we didn't maybe get drawn into that kind of cycle. Wiseant lists more than 48,000 tutors nationwide in 16 cities, and the company plans to add a handful of customer service and technology employees this year. What would you say would be your biggest challenge right now? You know, we're really focused on execution. We've got a lot of ideas um, and a lot of projects in the pipeline. To the extent that someone can turn to the web and get an answer to something, um, that's awesome, and we want to be part of that. There's so many things you can do with this great network of tutors we have, so the biggest challenge is how do you prioritize them and then how do you execute them. Gant and his team have been quietly growing in Bucktown, but now plan to become more involved in Chicago's technology scene. Wiseant may not be a startup anymore, but like its tutors advertise, a little extra guidance never hurts. But at this stage, faced with bigger decisions and more strategic sort of decisions, absolutely relying on people who have been there and done that before. Thank <laughs> you.